Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back here with the uh, Vibe Shearwater 125 uh, little how-to video. It's gonna be quick and simple. I'm not gonna take mine apart uh, to do it step by step. If it was a little more complicated, I would, but this is self-explanatory. I've noticed a lot of people are asking questions on how to install and run the cables on the uh, steer handle for the rudder on this boat. It does not come standard with the boat because you can have it three different options. You can do the Bixby motor, uh, the jet motor, or you can do paddle only, or you can pedal, or you can do all three, whichever one you want. So um, obviously the foot pegs have the cables for the rudder. I don't have them hooked up because like in my previous video, I said I don't, I'm not gonna use those. But the steering handle, you have to buy separate. Um, and it does come with the uh, rudder cables. It comes with two of them. So let's get right into it. Real simple, easy. Here we go. Uh, in your kit, you will have this assembly here, this gray piece, uh, two screws, and then there's a bolt in the middle behind this handle that holds the gray piece on here. Uh, there will be a rubber grommet that goes on the back of this. This is like a tensioner. You tighten it up if you're in like some some type of uh, river situation or in a stiff wind or something. If it's too loose, the uh, the wind or the current will cause your rudder to move back and forth pretty easy. If you kind of tighten it up a little bit, it keeps it stiff. That way it doesn't move on its own. Um, these tubes right here are, are good. They're already pre-ran to the back on the rudder. All you have to do is feed the cable through here. It's super easy and it feeds through great. Uh, a lot easier than I thought it would. Um, you just feed it through a little bit at a time. I believe the top one comes out on the left side and the bottom one comes out on the right side. What you wanna do is, here's the part people are having problems with. There's a spacer that comes with the kit as well. It's just like a little black spacer and it goes on the bolt that goes back here on that gray piece. So when you take this handle off, there's, there's a bolt right there and that spacer goes on that bolt. Now when you run your cables, here's the other part people are having problems with. When you run your cables, the top one comes around this groove, all the way around, and in through the bottom. There's a little hole right here on the inside and up top on the inside, let me show you. I can show you the top one, but not the bottom one. See that little hole right there? That is where the cable needs to go. So you take it around, it's open on the back side, by the way, so it's easy to see when it's off. You run that top one through the grooves, down here, take it through the bottom and just tie a little knot. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, just a knot on the back. Um, then you pull it back through, make sure it's in that groove. You run the bottom one around in the same groove, up to the top, through the hole, tie it off the same way. Make sure that it's in the groove when you mount this on the boat. I, I ran it before I mounted it. Um, my cables were already ran because I bought this as a kit, so my dealer tried to help me and start the install for me. So they ran the cables. Um, actually, I didn't notice it until after I got the boat home. They probably could have could have been lost in transit, but they weren't. Um, the what you do from there is you come back here to the back where your rudder is. Your cables will be hanging out of this tube on both sides. Just pull it tight, secure it to the rudder, and um, you're good to go. Just make sure it's not too tight, but it doesn't have any play in it. What I do is I just drop the rudder down and move the handle back and forth. Make sure when I go full left or full right, I don't have any slack on one side or the other. Um, if you do have any slack, uh, like I said, I took the, in my previous video, I said I took the boat out the first day I got it, and I put everything together kind of quick, and I didn't get the rudder cables as tight as I needed. So I got out on the water and I started moving the rudder back and forth. Got a little slack in here where I went full hard left and hard right, I'd have a little slack. And what happened was this cable jumped over that groove and got in behind here. And then it kind of became unresponsive. So just make sure it's tight, watch that. Um, and you shouldn't have a problem. But last thing is the Vibes website does have a video on how to secure the cables to the rudder. Um, it's under gravity rudder install on their tutorial videos. 
But what I did is, like I said in my previous video, I'm, I'm not gonna use the foot pegs. Um, so I run these back here and I ran these the way that they say to run them for the foot pegs. Um, and then I just ran the screw through there. The, the screw comes with it. So it kind of helps hold it in, in place there. Um, so that's, that's about it. It's pretty simple, easy. Um, if you have any questions on how to run it and tie it off back here, they do, like I said, step-by-step -step on Vibe's website. Appreciate you guys watching.